Welcome to the, to the Django series. In this video, I will talk about template inheritance. So far, we have created many Django templates for different purpose in Django. Many times we copy and paste repeated HTML code into the templates. As we know that most of the website contain repeated structure like header, sidebar and footer. So instead of cut and paste, we can minimize the amount of repetition in our base template. So to achieve the template inheritance, there are different tags are used like extend tag and block tag. One by one, we'll discuss the extend and the block tag. So first of all, we'll talk about extend tag. The syntax for extend, opening bracket, percent and sign, inside that we can write extends and then we can write name of the base page or we can say HTML page. So I'm going to extend the base.html page for a certain child page. The purpose of extend tag is used to inherit template. It tells the template engine that the template extend another template so it has no end tags. Make sure that there is no end tag for extend. Going ahead for the next tag that is a block tag. The syntax of block tag is opening bracket percentage sign and inside that we can write block and then the block name. We can mention any specific name to the block. Then we can write a content and at the end again we have to close this tag that is end block. There are multiple ways that we can write this block tag. Another way is that we can write block block name and when we end that time also we have to mention the block name. So any one of these two approach you can use at the time of implementation. So if I'll give an example here opening bracket percentile sign suppose I want to mention a title block. So block title so it mentioned the title of my web page every time and then it will be closed like opening bracket percentile sign and it will be a end block. If I want, I can mention the title as well. So likewise, we can use this tag. There are certain rules we have to follow while writing extend and the block tag in a template. We can discuss those rules during implementation. So let us start the discussion through coding. So first of all, I'll create the parent page or we can say base HTML page under the application. So consider my scenario of project is software professional and that software professional consists of two applications. One is tester and another one is coder. Both the application consists of certain HTML pages. So here now I will add base page already junior test and senior test page is there in my application. So what are the content of base.html? will be accessible into junior test as good as into the senior test. So I'll design a common code or we can say common framework for these both pages. So now we'll start the discussion through the coding. So first of all, I'll go to the project folder. Then I'll open the template folder. Under the template folder, we have two application coder and tester. Tester application consists of two HTML pages already. If you follow my last video. Now here I will create another web page that is base.html. Now first of all, we'll create the base.html tag. So HTML, under the HTML, we are going to add the head tag. Under the head, we are going to add the title of the page. And then inside the HTML, I'm going to add another tag that is body. So this is a common minimum framework for the HTML page. So under the title, I'm going to add a block. As I said, there are certain rules while writing the block. Make sure that the block name is unique for one HTML page or we can say template. There is no any duplication or repetition is allowed for a block. For example, if I write the block of title, I'm not going to add another title block in the same HTML page. This is my title block. And this is my end block title. One more block I'm going to add under the body tag. So that is my content block. So I'm going to add the block name of the block is let's say content. So content of my HTML page will be used under this block. And then we are going to end that block. So this is minimum framework for a base.html page. Okay. Now I want to inherit this page into the child page. So child page is JTest and S test. So first I'll open the 
jtest.html so under the jtest.html we already write a certain code if you follow my last video now we'll add a template inheritance into this html page so now i'll modify this jtest.html page so first of all we need to add the extent tag so opening bracket percentile sign we need to use the extend keyword and then we are going to add the the page that i want to extend so under the tester application i want to extend base.html page for this junior test html so once we extend that base.html we can access the content of this page into the junior test so now i'll go to the junior test and modify certain things for example under the head i'm going to add the block that is title block log title and then i'm going to provide the name of my page that is junior tester and then i'm going to close the end block or we can say end block this part is done after that inside the body tag i'm going to add one more block name of the block is content and then i'm going to in block content so this part is done under the jtest html so now base.html has been saved that has been extended into the junior test.html by using the extend keywords junior tester is there now we'll execute the code and we'll verify the output to execute the Code, we need to type a command python manage.py run server once the project is run successfully we will get the url copy that url and paste into the browser so we know that we have a tester application so we are going to execute tester application under the tester we have say tester page and it is now we'll see this page is completely empty so now we'll again back to code and verify why this message is not displayed because that message is outside the block content so we have to just copy this content and paste into the block so now that block contents are available inside the block so that it will display on the html page so now i'll again go to the browser and i'll just refresh the page you can find the content has been displayed now our task is to inherit the member of base page into the child page so we'll back again to the coding and now we'll add certain things into base.html so under the base.html i'll add let's say here one div tag and under the div tag i'm going to add certain links ahnf afterwards i'll add certain things so and add one more link href right about us likewise two links are there in my base.html now these two links are common for my all html pages if i extend the base.html so i extend the base.html into jtest.html so it means that that both the links are available on this j.html so i'll again save the code and go to the browser to verify the contents are reflected into the jtest.html or not so we'll go into the browser and we'll just refresh the page you can find how many about us links are there that code is written into the base.html that has been inherited into the jtest.html so likewise we can inherit as many as content that is either header sidebar or footer into html page in the next video I am going to discuss how to add the static part into the template inheritance. Thanks for watching this video.